So a as you can see, if you want to get a sense of scale, I won't get Whoa. too close, but you get a sense of scale here. It's just enormous. That's and when you watch it spin, the tolerances, it it's within, I'd say, literally millimeters of the ceiling as it rotates around. You know, Matt, Matt Riva did a great job installing these blenders and uh, literally building the room around the blender rather than the blender being installed into the room. And Andrew, so, you do that. Is that like a little mirror? And does that ensure like that they get mixed like even? Or what, 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 what does the blender do? What a blender does, say in our multivitamin, there's 25 different nutrients. Oh, Some yes. of those nutrients are at high levels. Some of them are at relatively low levels. Right. You want the blend to be completely homogeneous. So blending is a bit of a science. Right. It's a bit of an art and a bit of a science. Right. to make sure that all of those nutrients are going to be blended and end up being homogeneous. By the way, I smell something good next door. So we're, it's, it smells like sh secure chocolate. It does. Yes. I think that's chocolate. Oh. What is that? Oh, no, that's mixed berry. berry. That's berry. They might have been running chocolate before. Actually, I think But I that's the mixed were. berry. Yum. So, and that's, this is our, our powder fill line where we put powder into containers, whether it's secure, whether it's marine collagen. And again, you notice all the packaging material here, packaging machines here, they're all stainless steel. Everything, this is basically a, some cool storage we have that has some Choco Nouveau. And actually, if you come in here, it, it smells like uh, chocolate. It does. So this is our, hungry. our Choco Nouveau. <laughs> And, and what we're now going around, so we're kind of going in a circle. We're, we're heading back toward the studio. Yes. So now we're in this corridor, which is all our encapsulation machines. And on the other side of the wall there, over there, that's the blenders. Oh, so yeah. the blenders are just on the other side there. Right. And here, this is a kind of a capsule machine. I'll spend some more time on this capsule machine tomorrow. But this is the kind of capsule machine. I ran a less sophisticated version right. of this capsule machine 40 years ago oh, wow. when I was making products. Uh, probably the last time I ran it was probably a little over 30 years right. ago. And Andrew, but we're not seeing there are also goodies upstairs, too. Upstairs, right? and yeah, because we're now going to talk about our vitamin K2 MK7, right. which is a, a liquid liquid capsule. That's a soft gelatin liquid capsule, soft gel capsule. So that's made upstairs. That's our entire soft gel area. Nice. So these are all capsule machines here, that okay. long corridor. Sounds good. This is a cleanup area. So the machinery from all the adjacent spaces, when, when you change over, say we're running capsules and we change over from one material to another, that entire machine is broken down and cleaned. Oh, that's so, true. And so it, this is where all that cleanup takes place. Right. And the same thing when we're on a bottling line and you change over a bottling line, any of that bottling line that comes in contact with the product, right. you also have to clean all the parts. So, so now we're back into the production space. And that I referred to a packeting machine there where we make some of our packeted joint products or things like that. Same over here. This is our smaller bottling line over here. And now we're back to the studio. And Lincoln and Marcel will read us. And the boys are back. The boys are waiting. <laughs> what? What? Oh, what? my gosh. Hey, bud. Look at that. Hey, bud. Hi, hey, Joe. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, bud. Oh, hey. they miss hey. you. <laughs> hey. Oh, my hey, gosh. Hey. See, I'm going to have to start bringing oh, treats, right. too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Lincoln talks. He Lincoln talks. You. Oh, no. no more sell. Okay. Oh, too sweet. No, they're the best. They they're the best. too sweet. Okay. So hopefully that gave everyone a sense it of... Did of how we do all this. So what we're referring to upstairs, literally right up from here, that's where the vitamin K2 MK7, that's where that is all created. So that's a that's a liquid fill capsule. And that's why it's separate from the essential one for a number of reasons. But essential one is a powder fill capsule. So our vitamin K2 MK7 is a liquid fill capsule. So that's what we're talking about here. It's one of those nutrients that, uh, I said this 10 years ago when we introduced it, eventually 
everyone is going to realize and appreciate how incredibly important this is, how incredibly beneficial it is. As important as calcium is, that's how important vitamin K2, MK7 is. As important as vitamin D is to the absorption of calcium, vitamin K2, MK7 determines how well calcium benefits the key tissues in your body and how effectively you keep it out of the tissues you don't want it to enter, meaning that we don't want our arteries, our heart valves, things like that to calcify. Um, recent research, a number of studies have, have validated the fact that vitamin K2 MK7 reduces arterial stiffness because of its reduction in, it, in the tendency to, to calcify, to calcification, for calcification. So vitamin K2 MK7, I sort of refer to it kind of in a more casual way to refer to it, less scientific way to refer to it, sort of your body's traffic cop when it comes to calcium. It decides where calcium's going to go and where it should stay, and it decides where it ought not go and doesn't get a chance to enter. That's what it does for calcium. So as important as calcium is, if you don't supplement calcium, you're still getting calcium in your diet. It plays a critical role in your bones. Your bones are your reservoir for your body's reserves of calcium. So healthy bones, have good reserves of calcium. So you want your bones to be able to hold on to and retain calcium. That's what vitamin K2 MK7 promotes. And you want calcium to not end up in tissues like your arteries, your blood vessels, and other tissues in your body. You want to resist the natural tendency toward calcification. That's what vitamin K2 MK7 helps to prevent. Absolutely. I, I, I had no idea how much I needed this until I learned from Andrew, and maybe you the same way, but there are so many exciting things things going on. First and foremost, this has never been done as a Today's Special. Never. Right? Ever. And best, best, best pricing ever, ever by far. Ever. Oh, holy smoke. Yeah, yeah. you're not kidding, are yep. you? Okay, so once more, you just choose your size of choice, 30, 60, 180, or 360, and wow, I am going to get this as a Today's Special. Uh, for those of us out there, I've had challenges with my bones in the past, and what's interesting is I very rarely use these legally approved cards, much to HSN's uh, uh, chagrin, if you will, uh, but even on our legally approved information, essential, essential to bone, heart, and cardi uh, uh, cardiovascular health, essential in that proper utilization of calcium within your body. So I guess my whole point is this, not only when we talk about your cardiovascular system, but if you're going to bother to take calcium, if you're concerned about, you know, your bone health, and you want to make sure, as Andrew says, like that traffic cop, it goes where it gets to go, it's like getting a paycheck. We all want to get paid for our job. You want to get that benefit. You want to make sure that calcium is being is, is going where it needs to go and utilize the way it needs to be. Most importantly, is certainly in, in terms of skeletal health and bone health, there, there's abundant research that shows that vitamin K2 MK7 uh, supports bone and skeletal health because it, it promotes the, the, the it promotes the, the bones retention of calcium. It promotes the it promotes the osteoblast versus osteoclast without getting too technical here. So it promotes the the mechanisms in our bone that supports the creation of bone and retention and integration of calcium with it versus the breakdown. And that's a process that's constantly going on in our bones. It's a cycle that's constantly going on. And of course, we want to favor the creation versus the breakdown. That's what vitamin K2 MK7 promotes. So, and again, we all have calcium in our body. All our cells have calcium in them. Bone, the bones are the reservoir for calcium within our body. But we want to resist calcium's being deposited in tissues where it can have an adverse effect, such as in our blood vessels, in our arteries, or in our heart valves. That's not where we want to see calcium building up. That calcification is undesirable, and it's not in the best interest of our health. So vitamin K2, K2 MK7 plays a dual role. It plays a role in promoting the healthy, beneficial role of calcium in our bone and avoiding the unhealthy, the deleterious role of calcium in other tissues in our body. And again, if you if you respect the role of vitamin D and, K, and calcium in our body, which you can't help but respect the role that they play, then you can't avoid giving attention to vitamin K2, MK7. 